Hi, it's David here in ISR3 with Trigon 5990 from Odin. Today we'll talk about their amazing robot that can pick up corals from the ground, do L1, L2, L3 and even L4, doing algae to the net, and even more on another episode of Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, feature-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Andymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to andymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Hello, so I'm Ori. I will talk about uh, most of a subsystem of uh, the robot. I will start with our intake. Um, okay. We have a ground intake. It consists of two sets of rollers, and we have a Falcon 500 that powers it from the, uh, not on the subsystem, but in the robot, so it won't break. Um, after, the cor after it intakes the coral, it has this belt that makes, makes sure that it uh, gets funneled in the middle, and this wheel that uh, makes sure that it doesn't have any room to go in the sides and uh, and go, in, uh, not in the middle of a robot, but uh, go sideways. Um, okay, so after we intake, it moves into our next subsystem, the, the gripper. The gripper sits on an elevator. It's a continuous elevator that uh, gets powered by two Falcons. Um, this year we did something special to make sure the ropes are always tied. We have a... Two, uh, we took two uh, ratchets from uh, Versa, and if we want to tighten the ropes, we just uh, use a, a wrench uh, and, tight, tight, and uh, turn the hex to tighten the, the ropes. Um, and by, by making sure the ropes are always tied, we, we can use very small uh, uh, winches, and we find uh, by saving weight. Um, okay, after that, uh, I will talk about the gripper. Um, the gripper uh, is powered by a falcon right here. Um, it's a, it, it consists of four wheels um, to hold it, and uh, we made a print with a beam brake inside to hold the coral in, in place, so it won't uh, wiggle and uh, go away when we try to score it. Um, and uh, after that, we have uh, also a subsystem for the algae. So I'll hand it to Yochai to talk about. Okay. So like Ori said, um, we have a subsystem on the on the end effector that can pick up algae from the from the reef. Um, yeah. So just a moment. Um, we use these two wheels and these two wheels just to grab the the algae. And the we have um, the same belt that powers the. The, the same the same falcon that powers this uh, two two set of wheels and um, powered also this uh, two two wheels and it's just another another uh, another way to to save weight um, so let's demonstrate okay so it's holding it holding it here we have um, um, a rack and pin on right here that um, hold that for the access um, um, that we made ourselves. Um, another, uh, another. Let's let, so let's demonstrate. Okay, you can see. Now, now we pick up algae. It holds it very tight. Um, our floor intake has a green wheels in the in the bottom and a very big. Um, Black wheel that can um, suck the coil in. <laughs> so that's it. Okay, so now we can talk about our bumper. Um, a special thing that we have on our bumper 
it's that all the uh, electronic components on our on our robot are covered um, with a, a polycarbonate sheets that we just fold with a with heat, with heat and it's uh, connected to our, our bumper um, so uh, it does it connected to the robot and it saves us a lot of weight um, and covers the, the, the electronics very good um, so that's it uh, okay, so I'm Ishai. I'm the programming lead and captain of 5990. Um, this year, our robot is half autonomous, meaning the driver doesn't need to do a lot to intake corals or place them, only the in-between. So defense and all of that, that's what the driver has to do. But when it comes to accuracy, the robot does everything by itself. The robot has two reef cameras that are uh, positioned perfectly to ensure we're always seeing a tag when we're close to the reef to make sure the robot knows where it is on the field. Um, once we want to place, most of the teams um, made the robot only place in the closest reef section. But we saw that it wastes time to get, get the driver to drive to the closest reef section. So we have a full controller board that just controls where the reef should be placed at. So um, assuming we're on the other side, we can just press this button, press one button, and it automatically scores. The next thing we have that is fully autonomous is a fully autonomous intake. So here we have a camera connected to an orange pie. The Orange Pi has a, a rock chip which accelerates machine learning, making us uh, be able to detect corals using AI. So we're going to demonstrate that now. Okay, so Yohai is moving the coral and the robot is tracking it. Um, on the field, we have uh, 3D color tracking, which makes it even better. Uh, on the field, you just press one button and it automatically collects. Um, the next thing we have is full simulations for our robot. Uh, thank you very much for Mechanical Advantage for providing us with Advantage Kit and Advantage Scope to show that. Um, so basically, here we're going to demonstrate uh, fully autonomous intake and placing. Yeah, so the operator here, Nahum, you only press two buttons to make that, and that's also how a robot operates on the field. Um, moreover, we have a custom keyboard controller running a Python uh, script, so we can decide the coral levels using three buttons on the keyboard and also other debugging buttons. Thank you so much, 5990 Trigon. I wish you the best of luck for the, the rest of the season. It does move. Oh! oh. <laughs> I hope you are okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options through their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, future-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu first.